This is James with Net News Ledger. Howard Hampton has declared that he is seeking the federal nomination for the New Democrats in the Kenora riding. Howard stopped to talk with media after his announcement. Here is the scrum. The race is heating up uh, in the riding here. How do you feel going in against two fellows who uh, you know, also have a, a very uh, in-depth political background? Well, first I have to win the NDP nomination. and I, I think the NDP nomination is going to be contested. I think that's a good thing. I think that indicates the excitement that is growing around uh, the NDP. So I'm going to focus over the next four or five weeks on, on winning the nomination. Um, if I'm successful, I look forward to the campaign. I look forward to putting the contrasting ideas before people. I look forward to saying to people, look at the record and, and, and look at the sorry record of the Harper Conservatives who spend more money on advertising to promote themselves than they do, for example, investing in Northwestern Ontario's economy. And I think those are the kinds of things people need to look at. Why did you announce this in Thunder Bay rather than Toronto? Um, it, it's just uh, the way things turned out. I wanted uh, first to uh, this week to meet with a number of the Treaty 3 chiefs. I did that at Big Grassy First Nation on Wednesday. And NAN chiefs were meeting here in Thunder Bay yesterday. Um, so uh, I, I took the opportunity uh, to, to meet with NAN chiefs. And I did that because Many of the First Nation leaders are the people who have encouraged me most strongly to run. They've, they've come right out, out front and said to me, please run. We need you to run. We need you to seek the NDP nomination because we cannot work with this Harper Conservative government. Do you think that First Nation people are, are going to be coming out to vote in this election? I have been working in elections in northwestern Ontario since I was 16 years old. This goes back to 1970. I have never seen First Nation voters so motivated to vote as I see now. And, 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 and part of this is their frustration. When I meet with the Matawa chiefs, every one of the Matawa communities wants to see the ring of fire proceed. They do. But they, they say, we need someone to work with. And, and, and the federal government is, this federal government is not interested in working with us. In fact, virtually everything they do uh, is, is aimed at making it more difficult for us to work together. So I, I think you're going to see Aboriginal people more motivated to, to work, to vote, and to participate than ever before, and I think that's good for all of us. Granted you received the nomination, NDP have a fairly good track record here in Northern Ontario. Do you feel you have an advantage at all? I, th I think uh, there are a lot of things that are good for New Democrats right now. I think people across the country are looking at the earthquake that happened in Alberta. I, I've worked in Alberta elections. I remember, you know, knocking on doors and people would smile at you and say, oh, thanks a lot, <laughs> dismissing you. All kinds of people in Alberta didn't bother to vote because they didn't think it would make a difference. But this time they voted, and boy, did it make a difference. And I think people across Canada are saying, you know what, the NDP needs to be taken seriously. The NDP can form a government. And the NDP can provide real change to some of the very bad and negative things that have happened under the Harper Conservatives. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you, Thank you so much. I look forward to... And the race is heating up.